What's up, nerds? I'm Cover Joey, and has it really been that long since I've revisited r slash anti MLM? Well, as long as the pyramid's gonna keep on being built, we're gonna have to keep on pulling it down. Let's have a peek. Sensi open house. Oh, oh yeah, that looks that looks like super safe. That definitely doesn't look at all murdery. I, yeah, I'd love to go to your freaking Sensi murder house. <laughs> For God's sake, why? Hey Blue, hope you're having a great summer. I know a few months back just wasn't a good time for you, but I wanted to let you know that today starts the first round of our July group. We are really dialing in on our nutrition and getting ready to try out the newest program. If you'd like a spot this time around, I'd love to save you one. No thanks. Okay, I just wanted to reach and at least let you know. I know you were super busy last time, so I wasn't sure if things had so down for you at all. Being busy is one of the reasons that I wasn't. And I'm still not interested in Beachbody, but the main reason is that I'm not comfortable supporting any company that uses the multi-level marketing business structure. Since that's the core of how Beachbody runs, I don't think it will ever be a good time for me to join a bootcamp. Sorry. This is another one of those situations where, like, the OP was just so much more polite than they really needed to be. Just, like, it was so nice. Like, <laughs> I see so many where people turn around and they, like, come back with, like, a really witty response and, like, or something very quick and, and sometimes cheeky as well. But with this one, they were, like, genuinely, like, they were just so, um... They were speaking from the heart, you know, just being like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really not comfortable with this, you know, which is a really nice way of going about it. But Beachbody is so problematic. I mean, I mean all MLMs are, but, you know, Beachbody in specific sort of runs on this idea that women should always be trying to either lose weight or just generally, they, they shouldn't be happy with their appearance, you know? I mean, with a lot of the makeup ones like Unique or Lip Sense, they do try and like jump on the whole, you know, this is part of your experience expression this is artistic you can do what you like with it that's why you have so many colors blah 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 but beach body is just straight up you're ugly do something about it which i think is absolutely horrible that in conjunction with the fact that it's an mlm means that it's just so many levels of wrong also another thing that i noticed for this particular one is that it reminds me of this documentary i saw about um telemarketing agencies and the real dodgy business practices that they use. And one was like, if they don't actually say specifically, I am not interested and I will never be interested, take my number off your, you know, marketing list. Unless you actually say those words, they will continue to call you based on the idea of, oh, well, they might just not have been busy or, well, they might have been busy rather, or they might just not have had enough money or anything like that. And yeah, it's, it's just such a problem. If your hair really falls out, let them try and tell me themselves or have it fall out in your sink and send me a pic. Hasn't happened, won't happen. That's on period. Wait, wait, what? Is this Monet representative legit telling people that they should use it just to, like, take pictures of their hair falling out if it really doesn't? By the way, that has definitely happened. There's actually been court cases because people have had their hair fall out after using Monet products, so it is terrible. Like, it isn't even a good product. And the fact that you would just, like, stick by the brand so freaking much that you're, like, happy to say, oh, just use it when your hair falls out, take a picture, just because you're that confident, even though there's already evidence out there. It's official. Our teen program is up and teens can officially join with their parents' consent. Are you or do you have a teen who loves to take selfies? Or how about they have a huge girl gang and can use an extra hobby, working from their phones on their own schedule? I'm looking to mentor two teens this month and show them how to work on their phone on their own schedule and make some great money. Message me with questions. Ages. Ages 13 to 17. Parents slash guardian approval. Be an influencer. Join Tori Bell, participate in training online, share bit oh, learn business skills, not share, sorry, and earn money. Oh, okay, so it seems that Tori Bell is the name of the MLM. I actually thought that it was the name of, like, a person. I was like, oh, I've never heard of Tori Bell. She must be some, like, young kid influencer that I've never heard of. But again, like, this is this is the problem, is that they're no longer targeting, you know, well, well, of course they are, but they're no longer solely targeting, you know, unemployed adults that are desperate to make a few bob. They're now uh, trying to, you know, leech off of children, because that's what this is. They, these, they're going to be like going, oh, look, we're going to give you some skills, and these are kids that are going to want to do well. 
they're going to be thinking, hey, this is something extra I can put on my resume. This is going to be really good for me. I'm going to be earning some extra money so I can go to the cinema with my friends. You know, standard teen stuff. And they are just going to have their labor exploited. This is this is child labor. This is child labor. It's, you know, it's under, you know, the false pretenses of acceptability. But when you look at it, the, yeah, it's it's child labor. It's, you know, child exploitation. This is absolutely disgusting. And it, and it doesn't surprise me because I, I saw another one where somebody was asking help because their um, disabled sister who has learning difficulties was basically preyed upon by these MLM types. They, they just have no shame and they will grab whatever vulnerability they can. It's terrible. Five minute mum makeup with blue. In case you were wondering, it takes also about five minutes to clean this makeup off of toilets. My daughter got a lot of coverage for the small amount of products she actually used. Oh, so you know the whole my toddler is a genius, that kid never said that whole thing going on. This is exactly the same kind of situation. They're trying to make up this whole like quirky situation of oh look, look my daughter got the makeup all over everything. Oh, oh, oh how funny. Oh what a silly little girl. But oh look, oh look there's, there's actually so much makeup everywhere. You know she only used a tiny bit of product but wow it's spread over all the toilet seat like a great big poo smear. And yeah it only takes five minutes to clean up. Seriously if you are making your toilet looks like, look like... Oh, if you are making your toilet look like just a mega diarrhea explosion happened in order to sell product, then you've got to be wondering what you're freaking doing with your life because this lie is not, it's not working. <laughs> Nobody's believing it. All they know is that you dirtied up your toilet in an attempt to show how good the makeup is, which is just weird. Shooting for the moon, certificate of promotion. This is to certify that Tory Orange has been promoted to certified in the month of June. Signed with love, Nikki. Your director loves you. Tory, congratulations, lead consultant. Oh, Sensi, this, this was the one that my friend was in so I could tell by the terrible freaking font straight away. There are a few things about this that freaking annoy me. Number one is the fact that this is basically like the adult version of a participation trophy. I did see a post where it was saying that, you know, um, Hans having these MLM meetings on Zoom while being home from work, or rather, you know, like, during uh, lockdown, that they're basically the adult version of, like, <laughs> you know, little girls playing business. <laughs> With, like, their freaking Barbies just <laughs> saying, yeah, and if you sell this much, we can make this much money, and then nothing comes in. <laughs> But this is that. It says it's a certificate of promotion, right? There's a certificate of promotion and that is to say that they have been promoted to certified. So when you look at it, it's basically saying this is a certificate to say that you have received this certificate. What a load of crap is that? And then that your director loves you. What the hell? Like, and people say that it's not a cult to say, oh, your director loves you because, you know, you're, you're putting in all of this work and getting none of the money from it because it's all coming to me. I mean, that is so creepy that your director loves you, like, raises major alarm bells on that one. And to the $400 quote-unquote giveaway out of curiosity and got this. Hey, did you still want an entry? Sure. Yay, please post this and tag me in it for an entry. Who on my timeline drinks coffee and is up for losing 5 to 30 pounds by summer? My girl Kayla is looking for five product testers. Drop your favourite emoji. By summer? LMAO, it's already the middle of summer. FYI, it works, is an MLM, and you should probably get out as soon as you can. Oh my goodness, by summer. Honestly, the stuff that these people come out with. And of course, like, I bet that there is no, you know, $400 giveaway. I bet that it's just a load of crap because, you know, if like the company's doing it as like a special company thing, then they could definitely get into trouble for that. But if it's just one person like this and they can't actually prove that they didn't, it's a lot harder. And they could always go, oh, well, it was just one rogue, you know, um, supplier of this product you know we would never condone that blah 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 well they're definitely condoning the worst business practices possible okay so for this next one this is a video that does have sound with it 
I'm like super paranoid about getting copyright striked on this channel because I know that it doesn't take much before boom your channel's gone and I don't want to take any risks early on. So instead of the music you're gonna have me singing what they're actually like dancing to in the video so I hope you freaking enjoy. Dun, 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 dun. I'm with Monet. Skin and hair it's always great. Wanna get with us it's not too late. Earning caddies, why wait? Why wait? I'm with Monet. Well, now that you're all reeling in excitement from the greatest cover of the greatest song of all time, let's get down to actually analysing the freaking video. Cinematography, 10 out of 10. Special effects, 9 out of 10. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, okay, so my main issue with this is that it's on TikTok now. Um, when it comes to TikTok, you, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be blunt about it. I'm, I'm too old for, for TikTok, you know. If I was of the younger generation now, I'd probably be into it. But, you know, I'm, 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 just, I'm just too old. And, and that's what I'm getting into. TikTok is basically just teenagers, right? It is just young people, which means that if these uh, Monet Huns are advertising on there, they're most likely trying to, you know, recruit 16 year old girls, which is, is, is what's really concerning, you know. I mean, you know, they come up with this really crappy song just to be like, oh look, you know, we look amazing and we've got all this money and you could be there too. And the thing is, is that naive 16 year olds, you know, they're not going to know what multi-level marketing is. They're not going to know that they're going to have to invest a load of money in order to, you know, pay it off. There, they're thinking, oh, I can make money selling these products, you know, and they're, they're probably thinking that it's the kind of thing where somebody makes an order through them and then they get a cut of it. When that, you know, that's just not the case at all. It seems that Huns are just like targeting younger and younger and younger when they realise that all of their adult friends are either just not interested or have already done it and have been bankrupted because of it, you know. And I also like how, how when you look at them, you know, the one on the left is clearly trying her hardest. You know, she's mouthing the lyrics along. You can see she's like desperately like trying to think of, you know, all of the moves as they're going along. Whereas the one on the right doesn't give a crap. She's just like, yeah, I'm with Monet, but you know, my friend made me do this so that we could get more people in our downloads, <laughs> in our downline, sorry, so we'll do it anyway. Also, the fact that they're using like Monet products on their hair and they're just throwing them on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what you should do with Monet products. Throw it away. <laughs> just noticed as well that they've all got like their branded products on you see like the Monet hats and the Monet shirts like how much did they spend on this like a lot of time like I mean as much as I mock these people you know they have spent a certain amount of time and money on this like they would have had to have wasted an afternoon they probably put together the song you know editing it I know how long video editing takes and my videos are crap <laughs> you know so that and then plus all the money on top that they took to create the items of clothing well not create the items of clothing but buy the items of clothing along with it because they think that somehow in the in the long run it's gonna pay off and they're gonna get their freaking cadillac you know it, it is sad it's it's you know it's trying you, you know this is a lesson in futility i guess Talking a lot about anti-racism and thinking about how one year ago I wouldn't have said anything on here before my Monet journey because I hated social media. Wow, well done. Well done for like hijacking Black Lives Matter in order to promote your crappy MLM, my god. Seriously, they just hijack freaking anything in order to push like overpriced crappy product because that's the thing about Monet is that it is all crap. I mean, I know some sensey people that will be like, oh, well, the products are, are good, but, you know, it's it's an MLM, you know. I, I understand that some people like some products, you know. I personally like Avon Bubble Bath, and if I see it being sold at a car boot by somebody that just wants to get rid of it, then, yeah, I will buy it. But, oh, to go anti-racism. Oh, I'm thinking about anti-racism. Anyway, here's my MLM. Like, that's just classic hum behaviour. It's pretty low. Facebook clear out. Due to the high amount of people on my friends list but lack of interaction, I need to do this. So, please can you help me out by popping some emojis that apply to you below? I want to join your team. I'm in your team. I don't want to be in the team, but I want to stay and support you. I'm waiting for payday to buy products. I would like more info on your products. No hard feelings. Delete me. I want to stay and see your posts. I'm a satisfied and returning customer. We're friends, please don't delete me. And the comments were as follows. I'm in your team. No hard feelings, delete me. No hard feelings, delete me. 
They have feelings to leave me. Oh dear. When you're hoping that this is going to push your friends to show that they really support you deep down and they're not just there to, you know, have you for friendship or whatever, <laughs> only for them to go, nah, if you're not going to, if you're going to uh, keep doing this MLM crap, I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful backfire. To think, I went from always having to be on a payment plan for my phone bill to being on auto pay and it coming out with no worries these past four months, then paying off my old phone and getting a brand new one cash. It's the little things like that that this business and God have done for me. I skipped a phone payment to get started in this business and it's been paying for my phone bill ever since. I've been paying my tithes and the blessings are just piling up. God is so good. Ooh, oh gosh, okay, I have a few things to address in this one, my god. Well, I, I say, t you know, a few. There's there's two. There's, there's two things that I have issue with here. First of all is the use of religion. The idea of, you know, it was, you know, paying the tithes, blessings are piling up, God is so good. I mean, fair enough, if you want to, if you're experiencing something good and you would like to attribute part of that to your religion and you want to post about being happy because you feel like your religion has got you somewhere, then absolutely, that is no problem, and, you know, everyone's spirituality, everybody's relationship with God, or, or lack of relationship with God, you know, however any individual feels about that, that's incredibly personal, and if you want to celebrate it, then fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being religious. However, it is wrong to use religion to try and exploit money from other people, which is exactly what this is. She is going to be attracting people who are low on money but are religious, and they're going to be going, oh, well, if this has worked for this person, maybe I just need to go ahead as well. This is a godly woman. This is a woman who's been paying her tithes, who's been blessing God, and she's doing well, so surely it would work well for me. And... Yeah, it's just exploitative, and the way that I know that it's definitely for low-income families as well, 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 the low-income people, it's not necessarily families, it's just often is families, is look at the way, that, like, it was, it's this sentence in particular that stood out to me. I skipped a phone, a uh, phone, sorry, I skipped a phone payment to get started in this business, and it's been paying for my phone bill ever since that is what sort of caused the most red flags for me because they're actually suggesting to people hey you know what skip your payment skip that bill it's fine you're just like if you give us the money instead you will make it back and then you won't need to worry about bill payments anymore and then of course that is going to get people into a cycle of even worse debt because they have now just given a load of money to this organization and they're not going to get anything in return, but they believe that they will. And then, of course, it's just going to get them further and further and further into debt. And yeah, this is this is just really scummy. Hello, everyone. Mummy forgot it this. She says Purple is having a queen party June the 3rd. If people goes, it helped hers. No need buys any things. Mummy will goes and buy stuffs. Mummy says she saves mummy for these parties and can do twee. You do not have to buy stuffs. Parties are meant because mummy purple and me starts funny talks in Facebooky live and a lady doesn't know us. She thinks we are different peoples. If you want to see us be naughty and watch the Facebooky wife queening party, send Purple a PM to be invited. Help Purple get on the choo choo twain free stuff. Mummy thanks you for your times. Buy them more. Oh, God. God. I hope death comes for me swiftly. I feel like tumours are going to grow on my freaking voice box just because I read that stuff out. That was so grim. <laughs> just, oh. The use of, like, Baby Yoda to try and sell loads of stuff without even knowing anything about Baby Yoda. So, sod it, I'll just put random, like, cutesy talk. Mummy thanks you. Oh, and what even... What even? Like, what even is this? Like, what are you selling? It's like, oh, you can have a party and have fun, but you don't need to buy anything. Just help mummy make money. Like, what What? What does that even mean? Of course, you're expecting some people to buy stuff. And using this sort of over cutesy, like, furry type language, you know, like the whole pounces on you. Ooh, whoa, what's this? Oh, I'll for sure. You know, it's just like, oh, for God's sake, just you, you're an adult, you know, don't, don't do that. 
also, what the hell? It's like, if you want to see us be naughty and watch... The, you know, like, what? It, it seems like we're going to see some, you know, live webcam action, mum on baby, you know, milf on baby Yoda type stuff. If you want to see us be naughty or watch the Facebooky wife queening party send purple at PM to be invited. Yeah, because, you know, everybody's got their, you know, dongs out for baby Yoda. <laughs> this is just terrible. Well, that's it for this episode of r slash anti and I see that none of you have bought my cup of Joey Essential Oil starter pack. All you need to do is give me a thousand pounds for ten pounds worth of product, harass your friends and family, and just be a total hashtag boss babe. What can go wrong? As always, if you enjoyed hearing from this subreddit or would like to hear from any other subreddit, then do let me know in the comments. And until then, I'll see you all next time.